everyone, this video is going to be about white liner in your waterline. So usually, naturally, your waterline has the same color as your skin, obviously. Um, but what could happen if you put some other color in there? I'm going to talk to you about whether you put white liner in there or some other color that's probably a little darker, which makes a huge difference in the way you see the eye and the whole face, really. So when putting white liner in your waterline, it's it's going to give the illusion that your eyeball extends into your waterline just because it is the same color as your eyeball and it's going to make your eyes look a lot bigger. Then when putting black liner or something dark, whatever it is, in your waterline, it's kind of going to disappear into your uh, lash line. So it's going to give the illusion that your lash line is going to be a lot thicker, which is which is a good thing, obviously, but that's going to make sure that your eye doesn't look bigger. It's going to look a lot smaller just because it's going to have this feeling of a lot of darkness. When putting white liner into your waterline, it's going to contrast beautifully with your dark lashes. And I know it can be tricky and scary to apply it because it's, it's really close to your eye and it's super scary. You don't want to poke your eye with a pencil. Um, but there's a way around it, you know, when when you're not wearing a lot of makeup, um, you can do just with your hands. When you are wearing makeup, the warmth of your skin can kind of break down the product or just like change something about your makeup and definitely like your under eye bags are usually very concealed and things like that, so you don't want to disturb that makeup. Um, in that case, you can use some kind of brush to pull your your skin down. So last of all, you always want to make sure that the pencil that you use is kind of waterproof. Just because, I mean, your waterline, it says it itself, waterline, it's gonna get wet all the time. Um, and you want it to stay there, you know? You don't want to put some type of liner on and then half an hour later, like, oh, was there a liner? So just make sure that it's kind of waterproof or something like that, you know? Or you can even set it with powder, which is done sometimes, just to make it a lot more intense and just to get it to stay a lot longer. So I guess that's it about white liner. I hope it was interesting and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!